what's happening everybody Dano here feeling like a zombie I've stayed up way past my bedtime the last two nights because it's been clear and the weather uh, has been nice the temperatures dropped I meant to do this over the summer and I just never got around to it this was my very first telescope the Explorer Scientific ED 102 carbon fiber after a couple of different camera lenses I finally bought my first telescope and this is a f7 uh, 714 millimeter focal length telescope so it's probably a bit too much to start with but I had bought a 400 millimeter lens and I wanted to make the jump from that so I went with this one it's been a great scope um, but the last time I used this would have I guess it was probably in January uh, earlier this year I took it over to Walt's house, uh, Delta Astrophotography, back in December of last year. And I don't know if the car ride over there and back, maybe the bumps or something, I don't know. I mean, I've carried this out uh, to a dark site before. But anyways, I noticed my stars uh, on the Monkey Head Nebula looked like I had pinched optics which on bigger stars I noticed it with the scope before but it wasn't that big of an issue uh, so I started digging around cloudy nights and YouTube uh, I found a video uh, visible dark did this and I also found a thread I think it was on cloudy nights but I can't find it I was looking for it today I can't find it but there are some shipping set screws on here and you're supposed to be able to uh, back those out and it's supposed to help relieve the pinched optics so today I'm just gonna go over uh, doing that and just do this quick little video and hopefully if uh, somebody else has the scope and the same issue arises this will help you out so there's there's three uh, screws here on the on the hood and um, what I'm gonna do is gonna take these off first and open this thing up take the take the hood off and open it up so first thing i'm going to do is see what size this is and i don't have my multi-tool i can't find it so i think this is a two millimeter hex head and i'm just going to take these three screws off here now I should have got a bowl or something because there's a washer and a little tiny screw and I don't want to I don't want to lose those there's two when I went over to Walt's house uh, I imaged the ghost of Cassiopeia for the first time and I was really happy with that image and I didn't notice anything with the stars and uh, I came back home and I imaged the monkey head nebula from my front yard and when I zoomed into the stars that's when I noticed uh, the pinched optics so I'm gonna set this here and this should just pop off here hopefully Yes, got some dust on there. Wow, that's kind of funky where all that stuff came from. I'm gonna set this over here. So there's three screws right here, and I could just back the uh, the lens cap off just a bit. And these are the shipping set screws. Uh, I'm not going to touch any of these. I think those are for collimation. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to adjust these. Now, I think I read, it may have been Explorer Scientific, saying to completely take these out. I mean, it may have been um, cloudy nights or something. I'm going to dig around and see if I can find it, but I could have sworn I saw them there where somebody said to just completely take these out. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to back them out just just slightly. It kind of resets just a bit. So, and 
while I'm holding this, I'm just going to see if uh, this two mm. Yeah, it's going to be the same two millimeter hex head that I used to take the lens hood off. So, uh, or the, the dew shield. Excuse me. There's going to be um, there's going to be three sets of these. One right here. There should be one over here, and then one over here on the bottom. Uh, I read that you don't want to touch. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but on this side here, there's some caulk over those, and I'm not touching those. It's just the ones that are accessible, and I'm just going to back these out. Just a little turn. Maybe about a half turn. Same deal, two millimeters. That one's tight. Just about a half turn. They're still kind of recessed, but I'm just, I'm gonna try this and see if that helps. And let's get this third one. Just a, about a half turn. Yep. That's just a little little bit there. Um, they're still pretty much recessed, and um, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can find that uh, article or that uh, that thread on Cloudy Nights if that's where it was. You know, somebody I could have sworn somebody said they completely removed these. I don't know if I want to do that, but I'm just gonna back them out. So I'm gonna do the other two sets just like I did that. Okay, so as far as um, getting the lens, the uh, telescope lens hood back on, I'm going to take the uh, side that I took the screws out. I'm going to slide it back on. And it should sit flush on this collar right here. Okay, and so as far as aligning the uh, the hood back on, there's going to be a, um, a hole you have to line up. I don't know if you... It's definitely hard to uh, hold the camera and do this, so once you have one lined up, you should be good with the rest. I'm not gonna over, you know. I'm not gonna tighten it, and crank down on it. Just make sure it's tight. And now I should be able to adjust it. Roll this one over, and yeah, it's aligned the hole right there. So I'll put the other two in. And when you push this thing back on, you'll just it'll uh, this collar right here. It'll it'll sit flush against this collar, and just rotate the hood until you see, uh, see a hole line up and. That's it. So you want to be careful not to lose this little washer that goes on here. Like I almost just did. Bounced off and went through the crack in the table. I had to get down and dig for it. It's not super tight. Just want it, you know, in there so it's not going anywhere. And that may be a little too tight. Well, it's just they put the I like that. It's good. Won't slide back. Cool. That's it. That was my first time attempting that. Uh, I read that thread. I'm gonna find that thread because I could have swore somebody said to completely take them all the way out. I'm not gonna try that first. I'm just, I just backed them off a little bit, and they all, um, each three on each side, popped a little bit when I pulled them out. So they were really tight. So, um, hoping that helps. Uh, I've added so many accessories to the scope. I've gone through um, trying to make it fully threaded, which it's difficult uh, since I made the move to um, dedicated Astro cameras, the Z ZWO cameras. So I've, I finally went with this Bader um, click lock. And I was thinking, and this thing, when it clamps down, it, it's really tight. 
and it could have been this as well so the next time uh, I use the scope I'm not going to crank it all the way down uh, I'm going to crank it until it's just, just tight enough but I'm hoping that helps my stars I'll let you know by either making another video or commenting in this one but um, I did learn um, the last time I used the scope I paired it with the 533 the ZWO ASI 533 MC Pro and it is a great match with the scope the focal length with the 533 at, at um, 714 millimeters that, that one inch sensor is pretty close to using a uh, crop sensor on my Celestron Edge HD 8 and uh, with the reducer with, with the 0.7 reducer it's pretty close in the field of view so and this is much lighter I can run this I can run this scope without a counterweight so I can set it up faster so I'm hoping that does the trick I'm hoping that uh I hope that fixes my star so I'll let you know and keep you updated if it did work all right see ya